Good best, luck with that. Best of luck. Good now, luck with that. Best of luck. Forget buying a loaf luck. of bread from the supermarket. Do you know, <laughs> Good see, luck with that. Best stuff of luck. Get you go. Ah, okay. How long have I got? Um, because I had five eight and and minutes. Five and, five and, and, and a half minutes. minutes. Focaccia. I like <laughs> this camera. Not the number four, number five. Focaccia. Everybody loves it. When you go to the restaurant, you can never no more focaccia with salt on top and rosemary, or you can do stuffed focaccia. We liked coming to Leeds with you to open your new restaurant. Oh, thank lovely. you. Thank it's you. I really, I really look, appreciate it. You look, at that. look at that handsome Oh, uh, That's when we're at the beginning, so everybody was standing. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look like that and, at the end. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so focaccia, um, let's talk about the ingredients first, how to make bread. Flour, dry yeast, a little bit of salt, extra virgin olive oil, water. Dry yeast, if you can get the fresh one, because I'm sure you're going to start to ask that. You like to make bread, right? Yeah. That's the reason why I'm doing it. I don't know if you like to make bread, but I knew that Philip likes to do stuff like that. I like the thought of it. Mm. I like to eat very it. Very simple, very simple, Holly. Uh, dry yeast, I always use dry yeast in my recipe uh, because it's easy to find in the supermarket. Some big supermarkets, mm. the big one, if you go to the baker counter, you ask them for fresh yeast, the, the one made with beer, the smell is unbelievable, isn't it? I like it? the feel of it. Oh, this is like a play like play -Doh. My A nan, dryer play -Doh. My nan used to make muffins with... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you go in some of the supermarket, you know, get on with the baker, you know, charm the baker and get some fresh yeast, much better. <laughs> the smell is better. What do you do? You put everything in a bowl. I don't have the time to do now. Mix it up. When it gets this consistency, you here, you there, feel it. See, this has just been in a bowl. What do you have to do? Bread. You go from the outside, inside, you push. Outside, inside, inside push. you push. Outside, outside inside, inside, push. push. Outside, inside, push. push. Philip, what are you doing? Folding it. No, Philip. <laughs> Pick it from the outside. Oh, it's getting In the middle. Here. I thought that's what I was doing. And then push. Push with this one. This one. With okay? the palm of your... That's it, with the palm. That's it. See, again, it becomes like a ball. You need to make it nice and smooth, yeah. like a ball. Look at my one, Philip. Turn it as you do that. Turn it as you do it. I'm doing the double palmer. Are well, you doing too many? What? What, what the do, hell? What, you, one end. You can lose one. Don't you mess with me, love. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no. You were in the jungle no. with her, weren't you? I was in the jungle with her. And Kim. you loved her? For 21 days, 24 hours a day, she was the most incredible girl. No problem whatsoever I had. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to carry on because then I'm going to say something that is going to upset other people who are in there. So Just make your focaccia. Okay. Look, once you've done that, then what you do, you roll it and you want to get a nice little bowl like that. Holly, great. Thank you. Seriously. No, I you, Philip. It's, it's very nice. At this point, what you do, get a bowl, okay? A little bit of oil. You put this into the bowl. You brush it with oil, you cover it with clean film, and that's what you get. And it rises, and, and that's rises. ready to go? That is ready to go. Proof. No, 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 no. This is ready to go. At this point, what you do, let's get rid of this. Once it's ready to go like that, you tip it into a tray that you brushed with olive oil. OK? And the reason why we do that, because now, if you push it, it's easier. Look at that. Much it's easier to push it. Look at that. Nice and easy. OK? You push it. More, oh, more, please. Sorry, yeah. I thought you were... Uh, so I once you're thinking... at this stage, you can stuff it with whatever you want. I'm using tallage. Oh, it feels so nice. It's it's like nice, a see. Tummy. That's it, that's it, that's, it. that's perfect. <laughs> that's uh, Philip, mm -hmm. use more your fingertip. Can you see that you can see fingertips into my... And that's very important when you make focaccia to use your finger because that's how you get those bubbles going in. Now, tallage your cheese goes in there. Come on, guys, put a little bit... I don't have you any. You can have some of my tallage your cheese in there. Thank you. Okay. Actually, I'm doing yours. Then we're going to put a little bit of walnuts. Philip, you can do the same. The walnuts, you can just crush it. Crush them up a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, the way we're going to do it... Oh, Gino, this looks delicious. Uh, Holly, we're going to leave your one with just a little bit of taleggio, a little bit of this, a little bit of garlic. Philip, with yours, can you put some hams? Any hams you want. Fresh garlic, yep. sliced, you put it there. Oh, Gino. Nice and easy. And black pepper. Holly, give a good sprinkle of black pepper and salt. Salt is very important, isn't it? Salt is very... You know what? The satisfaction of making your own breads is Look unbelievable. The smell you get in the house is, cra is, is crazy. I don't know why people don't do it more. Philip, a little bit more taligio. You'll be stingy on the taligio here. Right there. Ah, oh, this. Nice. All right. Now, what I want you to do, yep. from this side... Oh. You start to roll it. That I was not expecting you okay. to do. Roll it for me, please. And, guys, you know, nowadays when you buy breads, oh God, there are so much rubbish that it shouldn't be bread. This natural ingredient, very easy to prepare, and the smell in the house is going to be amazing once it's done. Holly, there you go. There's okay, 
a little oh. bit messy, I get that. How but long, let me tell you, 45 seconds, Gina. Okay, once you've done that, okay, you put it with clean film, you let it rest. Oh, look at the size of it. And this is what it becomes, because the yeast continues to work. Incredible. Okay, at this stage, then what you do, you prick it with a fork, a little bit of salt on top, and you put it in the oven, oh, my 200 goodness. degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. And really, this is the one I made this morning, as I was waiting oh for gosh, it. This is, Philip, is the one you made. Ah. Can you see there is the little holes in there? Okay? And uh, a little bit of olive oil. Mm. You know, you make something like this when your friends comes around with a, with a glass of wine or mm. something that like that. It's just heaven. Heaven. It's got everything in there, isn't Thank it? Thank you. Thank oh, you, that's yeah. my pleasure. I hope... That's sorry, beautiful. it was a bit uh, uh, fast. No, no. But, right um, oh, delicious. to the wire, Gino. Right beautiful. up to the wire. Grazie. See you tomorrow.